I'm going to show you kind of a little bit the power of algebra. So algebra is very powerful. Choose any two-digit number. So I want you to do that now. Any two-digit number, don't tell anyone what it is. Add together both of the digits. Okay, you got it? Okay, so you've got a two-digit number. Add the digits. So that's, for example, 29, and I add 9 plus 2, and I get 11. Then... Um, subtract the total from your original number. So I go 29 minus 11. Okay? And that's going to give me 18. So then I'd have 18 in my mind. When you have got your final number, look it up on the chart. So I'm going to find 18 and I've got that symbol. Okay? Concentrate on the symbol... And when you've got it clearly in your mind, imagine it in the crystal ball. Okay, so imagine that symbol in the crystal ball. Are you, have you got it? Yeah? No, still waiting for somebody? Okay. So you've got your symbol in your head? Ready? Yeah. See it? It's yours? Okay. Try again. Okay. Do it again. Different number. Different number. Try again. Who's ready? Got it? Ready? No, you've got to do the math. Ready? You can do it next time. See it. Go. Okay, now everyone do it this time. So you get a number, two digit number, add together. I'm just looking at the same number. The, no, do, get a different one. Then you're not testing the system. Any number, any two digit number. Okay? Add the digits together, take that total off the original number. Okay? Got it? Alrighty. Yeah? Okay. Are you ready now? Focus. Are you ready? Focus on your symbol, focus on your symbol, imagine it in the ball. Ready? Set. Well, don't go for a different number. Pardon? Pardon? It does work if you do maths, right? It totally works. Go. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. So what I Okay. I just wanna have a look here. What number do you guys have chosen? Call out your numbers. Okay. No, hang on. It's the number that you've worked out. So you've got your two digit number. So what was one of the two digit numbers? Seventy. And then you minus seven and you would get sixty three. Okay. So let's find sixty three. So that's that symbol there. Okay. Next one. Another number? Seventy eight. Minus 
15. 15. And what are you going to get? 63. Oh, okay. Well, that's 63 again. Um, another one? 99 less 18. And what's that give you? How much? 81. Um, if I go 99 less 20, I get 70. Yeah, okay, 81. Having a moment. Uh, so 81. Okay, next number. So 60 less 6. What do we get? 54. 99 less. 99 less. So 82 less 10. 72. Less 15 is 54. Okay. 10 less 1 is 9. Okay. 64 less 10 is going to be 54. Um, 30 less 3, 27. 17 less 8 is 9. We've already got 9. 82 less 10 is 72. 14 minus. Pardon? 14 minus. So, has anyone seen the pattern? Yeah. What is it? We've got 9, 27, 54, 72, 63, 81. Ah, 9 times table. Okay. How did you get? Uh, no, not 19. What am I doing? 18. How would you get 18? 20 less 2? Yeah? Okay. Alrighty. Uh, now I'm going to be a two digit number is going to be 10 lots of a one digit number plus a one digit number. Does that make sense? So this is our two digit number. Okay. So for example, if X is two and Y is three, that would be 23. Okay. So we had those examples. Who's listening? Come on. Listen. So that's my two digit number. What did you take off it? That's my two digit number. What did I have to take off? My two digit number. What did I have to do? And so that would be the X and the Y, right? Because the two digit number is XY. Like that if you get what I mean. That, it's not multiplied, it's actually that's one digit, that's the other digit. Make sense? So we're going to take away x plus y. Okay? You with me? Yeah. Now let's algebraically do that. So we've got 10x plus y minus x minus y. So what's happening to the plus y minus y? If I add a number and take it off, what happens? Collecting like terms, y minus y is? Zero. Okay. So what's 10x minus x? Nine x. Okay. So that's my algebraic proof that no matter what two digits you choose, the X and the Y, you end up with a multiple of nine. Nine times tables. Okay? Beautiful.